this is how we do it. Casting in the 12. I know, I know it's not like me. Not our style at all. And like I really did want to tie on. Anywhere from six inches to two foot. Yep. <laughs> Any, anywhere outside the four foot, I'm, foot. I'm lost. Five foot step. All right, guys. Welcome back to another uh, episode of Fishing's Not a Crime. Doing a little special series here, Northern Winds Tour. If you tuned in, thank you very much. Um, before we go any further, I want to thank you to our sponsors. Four Winds in Eldridge, the truck accessories. They did the cap on my truck and they sponsored us. That was awesome. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Krogerts in Rock Island. It's where we bought most of the baits for this trip. They sponsored us. Thank you. If you need baits, go there. Um, Taylor Flooring, LLC. <laughs> Buddy of mine's uncle's uh, flooring. And then Steve Cromfell. What, what up, yo? Something just beeped. What beeped? You guys beeping at us? Not that one. Not that one. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Steve. This 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 bat's for you, Steve. But here we are, northern Minnesota. Literally, I can see Canada. The border's right over there. We 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 might cross into it just just to be rebels. Be rebels. <clears throat> but uh, cause cause fishing's not a crime. Um, but we're gonna catch some smallies. We're gonna get on some smallies and we're gonna get on some uh, pike. Hopefully, both of us get our PBs in both of those avenues. But let's go rip some some smallmouth on, on top water right now. AJ, doing the whopper pike. There's one. A nice one. We hooked up, guys. We are hooked up. Oh, he just came off next to the boat. That's the uh. Dude, that was a fucking. That wasn't even that big, dude. Didn't even have my blood pumping on it. It was a nice one, guys. That was like a three and a half pounder. And uh, it just when you're when you're fishing top water with treble hooks, especially a popper, that happens. Fish on. Oh, good one. Oh, not as good as that. Not as hey, good, but. That big, that first but how about that? There we go. Yeah, don't get hooked. No, I know. Trust me. It's my number one thing. First one of the trip. First one of the trip. First Minnesota Smalley in a long time. He smacked her. Hopefully they get bigger from here. How about that? How about that? How about that? Nice. Pick up again? Mm -hmm. a wee one. Little one. Those are the ones that get you. He got it all though. Just a little guy. No, they're out a little bit. That's not what I'm looking for. I want one of those ones that you had on. That's what I want. Fish. Fish. Ah, pike.
slimy critter, guys. Makes me nervous throwing the jerk bait. You see this? See how I got him hooked? Now you think my little hand and try to get it out and then jerk real quick and ruin my trip. First fish of me for very low sleep. First fit for me for the trip. He gone. On a jerk bait. I think it's a lucky craft. I'm not exactly sure. I break jerk baits down into two categories. Three hooks and two hooks. That's a three hook. Just doing a boom, 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 sit. Boom, boom, sit. You know, big, big jerks with it. And they're hitting it on the paws, you know, so you just gotta be ready and, and waiting for it when they pause, or when you pause. You feel free to speak up and tell me. Cause there's so, oh, there's a fish. Yeah, he pulled pretty good though. For a little guy. Wow! He gone. Guys, don't worry. He was he was he was he was only this big. We're not We're not in the business of showing you. He did he did rip it though. Mm-hmm. First fish on that smallmouth. I stuck him good too. Oh yeah. Here at Crane Lake in Minnesota, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's a it's nice awesome. One, dude. Awesome. How about that, guys? Definitely a couple pounds. Nice red eye. He smoked it. That's one of the day. Cool. Thanks, Thank one. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where? Right now. Oh, he came back. Nice one. Oh, cast in there with your plopper. Right next. Oh, he came back. He followed it. He followed it. Oh, man, that's a little. He catches big, big smallies. I catch these little janky pike. I don't want them little janky pike. You're gonna be pissed when you lose that whopper plopper now. Made me nervous. But then I broke it to the kids last night. Oh, there he is. Piker, guys. So, mm -hmm. yeah, right there on the boat, right there. This is what you call a quick release. He gone. So we moved from the rocks to the re to the reeds. These are like um, bull rushes with some like my father and all always called them crappie reeds down there. And there's a lot less smallmouth. And there's a lot more pike, which I'm okay with. This is not a tournament, so I'm okay with catching pike. I just had to stop 
put a steel leader on my thing <laughs> so I don't get bit off. Because pike have a tendency to take your lures. And uh, like I'll catch 95 little ones and be fine without a leader, but then that one big one will come up and I'll miss him because I won't have a leader and he'll just take my stuff. They envelop it, like they just take the whole bait. It's the way I see it. They should be here. Did he come off? Or is he out? He's on. Yeah. No, he's on. <laughs> you come up my country with a largemouth fisherman and that's what you get <laughs> he came out of the water man look how good he looks it's a pretty fish that smells like up north guys northern minnesota like literally on the border, small country. Where did Josh and I find ourselves? Four foot of water in the weeds, throwing a frog. <laughs> like, what's wrong with us? Everybody else on this lake is fishing for walleye, crappie, and if they're fishing for bass, they're in 20 feet of water with a shaky head or a drop shot or a Ned rig. Here we are in the reeds, throwing the frog. You do what you do. And if you do it well, you get them. Nothing. Do you keep reeling that up and it like hits on accident? I'm nervous about my eyelet and I'm also nervous about my, oh, there's one. Oh, it feels good. Oh yeah. I would use the rat. Or are you just gonna record? Like a leaf. Or a lamprey. That's what lamprey. You gotta go. I'm being quiet because I'm being serious. Because I think I just have it by the trailer. Ready to try to grab it? Oh, 
Yeah, right, bring them over here. Trailer hook. Thank you, Josh. I think one of your trailers. Look at that thing. That's a big old bike. My Christ. All right, here we go, guys. He is 12 pounds. Look at that guy. Your phone's up there. Snap a couple pictures of this thing. Dude, that lamprey. You guys see that right there? I'm pretty sure that's called a lamprey. And it is, it attaches to them with like circle teeth and just sucks their blood. Oh, oh, I would swim off. He's just chilling. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Dude, that was that was cool. Guys, if you're fishing a spinner bait and you don't have a trailer hook on it, you're missing fish like that. Yeah. Just the trailer. That's all I caught him on was that trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna hear this. Collect myself, I'm feeling a little verklempt. This is what I got him on, guys. I got, get it up close. That is the trailer hook. I caught him only on that hook. Running a 30 pound leader, steel leader. And we are on the weed edge, casting it, and just working it in slowly. Not really slowly. I, I let me let me change that. Um, when I'm bringing it in, I keep it about a foot below the surface, maybe even a little bit higher than that, so they look up at it. And that's how I've always run spinner baits. I've never slow rolled them, and maybe I should be, but this works for me. Twelve pounder, bro. Ty's my biggest one. My other one was longer but skinnier. He was fat, like thick. When he came up and he saw how wide his head was, dude, <laughs> you said, it's a good one. And I was like, yes, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. 
Subscribe.